Da wird man mitten im Finale gestört. Ich glaube es nicht. So, letzte Gesprächsoption. Was ist der eigentliche Zweck dieser ganzen Veranstaltung? Das ist eine gute Frage. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The North resembles a whorehouse on fire, as your friend Dandelion would say. Oh man. Oh God. Jetzt können wir eigentlich jede jede Einzelheit erfahren. Das ist sehr gut. How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. I mean, I can't change how I look. That's true. I stayed close to Sheila, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact, that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together, could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demavend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I've been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Klar, damit hat er im Grunde seine... Jetzt komme ich nicht mal mehr auf das Wort. Er hat auf jeden Fall dafür gesorgt, dass Sheila ihm vertraut durch den Mord an Demavend. Und die Loge der Zauberin wollte ja eigentlich nur Demavent töten, weil er dann eben im Begriff war auseinanderzubrechen. Und weil sie wahrscheinlich ein... sie wollten einen Samen pflanzen. Sie wollten einen souveränen Staat, in den Zauberer nicht geächtet, gejagt werden, wie auch immer. Und ein eigener Staat wäre für die Zauberer natürlich echt gut gewesen. Und die Loge der Zauberin an deren Spitze wäre zu einer bekannten Größe in der Witcher-Welt geworden. Hat ja dann doch nicht geklappt. Where'd you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido. The Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. She recovered her memory? Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia. And without her knowing it, there was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. Das heißt, auch Schillard wusste es nicht? How do you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk. But it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers. And we wouldn't have if not for Yorveth Skyatel, another of Sheila's ideas. With Yorveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the Lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. Klar, also in Yorveth hat Leto einen, ja genau den richtigen 
Kumpan für diese Unterfangen gefunden. Frustrierte Elfen, die die Menschen hassen. Und allen voran natürlich die Könige dieser Menschen. Hat super geklappt. How did you know Foltest would come to the monastery Solar? Jorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. The king of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalette sooner or later. And he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle's under siege? I had to become a monk. But I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arion's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arion's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds. I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. <laughs> Actually, it was only a loan, because I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do was wait for the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed. To recognize an old friend. Grundsätzlich wurden also alle beseitigt, die irgendetwas wissen, und der Auftrag ist super geheim. When did you decide to get rid of Jorvith? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. He was so observant, so dangerous. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the Skoyatel were protecting you. Maybe, but with Jorveth, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran. But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Jorveth. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgotten. No, I remember. Hmm. Hätte er uns getötet, dann wäre er jetzt wahrscheinlich sowas von uns im Schneider. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mhm. Mm she thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I'd bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind, or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. Das ist tatsächlich wahr und das ist das Interessante an der ganzen Geschichte. Leto hat die ganze Zeit das nur gemacht. Er hat für seine Überzeugung gekämpft. Er wollte wahrscheinlich mit sich selbst Frieden finden. Er wollte das Ansehen der Schlangenschule ähm, ja, wieder errichten. Die ja überhaupt kein Ansehen hatten dann in Nilfgaard, wie wir gehört haben. Und ja, ich, das ist vielleicht auch kein ähm, Ziel, das irgendwie mit in Konflikt mit Gerald stehen würde. Aber was in Konflikt mit Gerald steht, ist, wie er das aufgezogen hat. Shame you didn't take a shot at Hensel to yourself. History might have taken a different turn. Maybe I would have killed him. Maybe you would have killed me. Who knows? But Hensel's death, although desirable, wasn't necessary anymore. The plan could go forward without it. You killed Serret and Orcs. Damn shame as I see it. Two good witchers. They were murderers, Letho. Just like you. Don't change the subject. Right. I was on my way to Loch Muin by that time. I had to prepare, inform that prune Schillert of the plan. Everything had to play out perfectly. There was no room for error. Aha. Sehr interessant. Dann kommt vielleicht der Tötungsbefehl gegen Schillard, den wir im Jorvef-Weg gesehen haben, deswegen, weil er dann doch zu viel wusste und es vielleicht nicht wissen durfte. Denn wie wir feststellen, werden grundsätzlich alle, die etwas wissen, beseitigt, außer Gerald. Da hat Leto irgendwie... Da ist ne, Leto zu nachgiebig gewesen. Ja. Das war alles, was wir überreden können. Ich denke, es ist an der Zeit, es zu beenden. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want a fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. Und dann schlagen wir uns die Schädel ein. So wird das doch auf jeder Hausparty gemacht, oder? 
allgemein anerkannter Duktus. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. Tja, also dein Lohn kann es nicht sein, dass du dir ein schönes Leben im Süden machst. Bei, bei all dem, was du angerichtet hast. Du warst das Werkzeug des Kaisers und all das, was hier geschehen ist, konnte nur geschehen, weil du sein Werkzeug warst. Also stirb. Time to fight. Ready? As I'll ever be. Und diesmal werden wir gewinnen. You fear death. Natürlich sind mittlerweile leider unsere ganzen Verstärkungen weg. Das ist ja ganz toll. Fight. Komm her, Leto. Aua. Ha. Oh ja, das hat er. Aua. Na. I don't want to kill you. You're nowhere near my level. Für nicht das. Guck mal, wie viel Leben du schon verloren hast. Aua, das ging mächtig in die Hose. Verdammt, jetzt hat er wieder Quen drin. Die haben ihm schon relativ viel Leben abgezogen. Das läuft gut. Goodbye, du hast Goodbye hier. Fuck. Nein! Er hat mich ins Lagerfeuer gekickt. Wie mies ist das denn? Komm her. Fuck. Und mein Schwert ist weggeflogen. Nein. Das war's. Letus besiegt. Aber damit ändern wir nichts mehr. Gerald sieht fast traurig aus. Leto hat für die Rechte der Hexer gekämpft. Vielleicht ist er deswegen traurig, dass so jemand sterben muss, aber er hat es falsch angegangen. Leto hat es falsch angegangen.
verlassen wir diesen grauenhaften Ort. Gemeinsam. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. In Flotsam, he slew Bernard Lerido, but few mourned for the Commandant. Flotsam remained to Marion, while command of the garrison in town went to a Vizima noble, a sworn enemy of Kedwin and an avid angler. To this day, folk gather round bonfires in Lobenden to hear of the Witcher's deeds. The Witcher witnessed a great Kedwini victory in Edern. At Vergen, Hensel's army crushed Saskia the Dragonslayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edern whole. Yet subsequent events would render Hensel's triumph short-lived. With Fultest slain, Temeria's barons began to vie for the throne. Many dreamt of donning the crown. Yet none could assemble the allies required to snatch it. The kingdom's last hope, as it teetered at the edge of civil war, lay in little Anais. Natalis was named regent and ruled the land, yet the girl was the living symbol of the realm's salvaged unity. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>